happening now. Investigators are still trying to figure out what started this morning's fire at this home on the southeast side of Indianapolis today. Now we've learned there was no heat inside that house. The people living inside were apparently using space heaters to try and stay warm. Anna Carrera talks with those who rushed inside to help the people and someone who understands tragedy like this firsthand. The whole back end of the house was on fire. Uh, smoke was pouring out upstairs uh, through the chimney, stuff like that. Take a look at this video shot by someone who lives right across the street. Flames and billowing smoke pouring out of this home on Harlan Street near Raymond and Keystone. I slid up right here and tried to get into that window. Uh, two other guys was out here trying to get into the window as well, saying that somebody was trapped upstairs. Firefighters also rushed to the area trying to battle an aggressive fire so strong it collapsed the back of the building. First responders tell us three people were inside, but all are expected to be okay. The woman that was transported did jump out of a second story window onto the porch roof and then from the porch roof to the ground. Throughout the day, people have stopped by to see the damage that's left behind. For one woman who came by, the site brought back bad memories. It was me, my mother, brother, and sister. Um, my mom woke up in her room to a block. Um, I room full of box smoke, and we lost my brother and sister. Jamie Lorch was just five years old when she survived a house fire. She still has scars on 80% of her body and a trach tube that helps her breathe. She's shocked by what she saw in her neighborhood. How much damage happened so quickly? And how fast? It started. Even though firefighters still aren't sure how the fire started, people who live in the area say this is a good warning for the winter season. Well, Christmas coming around the corner, you know, space heaters being lit this time of year. Check space heaters, check extension cords, check lights, stuff like this. Nobody expects it. You know, check your smoke detectors because stuff like this can happen real fast. Reporting on the south side, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. We want to let you know you can get help paying for your heating bill. The state has an energy assistance program in place, and there are other available resources through the Salvation Army, the Catholic Charities, and your township trustee, and you can always call 211.